Hello everyone and welcome to Librarian Agenda. I am Kate on this channel. We are going through all the planners and productivity systems to find out what works best for us. And usually paired with a love of planners and productivity is a love of stationery. And so today we are delving into two of the um, most popular brands for notebooks, dot grid notebooks. We're talking about Archer and Olive and Notebook Therapy. So they are um, beloved in the bullet journal community. If you ever are somebody who likes to watch um, bullet journal videos on YouTube, you will see these two brands mentioned very frequently as, as, the, bullet, as the journals that they're using. They are both really beautiful and high quality. So before we, we, we delve into these, let's talk about Archer and Olive. It's a small company. It's operating out of the United States. They have a mission to um, improve mental health through creativity. That is like their company's like mantra. That's what they are focused on. Notebook Therapy was inspired by a love of stationery in East Asian culture, and they want to bring their customers a sense of joy and peace. So they do have sort of similar um, missions, company missions. It's all about um, journaling as a way towards, create, you know, or then creativity as a way towards better mental health, um, finding calmness, finding joy. These are the Halloween releases from both brands I have four total of Halloween releases from both brands. Both companies do limited edition releases. So when they are sold out, they are gone forever. So some of these that I'm gonna show you from Archer and Olive in particular are no longer available. Both of the notebook therapy choices that I, I purchased are both still available. And this is being shot on November 21st, 2003. So by the time you watch this, they may not be, but as of the recording, you can still get both of these journals and this one in a different colorway. I'll, I'll talk more about that. So let's get into it. Let's get into how Archer and Olive and Notebook Therapy compare. So let's start first with the packaging. Like the packaging on all of these is so beautiful. So here you have kind of a holographic silver and they have spines. Here it's kind of an, a, a gold foil and the packaging isn't like, it's, it's really nice, but it's not as intricate as the packaging here, which is, um, this is a, you know, a box, just like a regular box. This one is you untie it with this ribbon, pull out this ribbon, and then it opens like a book. And it's, you know, has this on top. This, so this packaging is like the notebook therapy next level packaging compared to this. Then Arch and Olive, they slide out like that. So these are all meant to like look nice on a bookshelf if you wanted to keep the packaging. So if you kept the packaging and then you wanted to like store your journals in the packaging, look at how pretty these would look on your bookshelf. These would look really pretty. So this is the Archer and Olive notebook that is still available. The A5 size with the blackout pages. So my pages are white. It's still available as a blackout notebook. This one is sold out in all variations. You cannot get this. So of all the four notebooks that I have here, this is the only one that is totally not available. And you can see why it was considered such a special release. Um, got this embossed vegan leather cover. The pages are deckled. It was supposed to, you know, give us those like hocus pocus vibes. So when we're talking about comparing these brands, they're both like super high quality. You're not going to find anything here being cheaply made. 
That's not the MO of either one of these brands. And they both have the very thick 160 GSM paper. So there's no ghosting, no bleeding. You can paint on them. You can use watercolors. You can use acrylic. You can, um, you can really, you can really abuse these. Oh, I forgot how pretty that is. Oh, we'll get into it. Um, you can really do what you need to do creatively on these pages. And you don't have to worry. Like, look at, I don't know if you can really see, but like, look at how thick that is. It's a thick sheet of paper. So they both have elastic closures. They both have pockets in the back. One main difference between the two brands is that Archer and Olive always comes with a little pen loop. I have not seen a notebook therapy notebook yet that comes with a pen loop. They do all have the ribbon bookmarks with a noticeable difference. So you see two ribbon bookmarks. All the Archer and Olive ribbon bookmarks 